everybody. I've had a lot of requests for people to, uh, you know, they wanted to see the rigging that I have set up. And I've done this over, gosh, like seven years since I've had the boat. Um, there's a lot of things you can do, and you don't have to worry about doing them all at once. Um, but you want to you want to do most of these and or some variation. Um, first, starting with the rudder. Um, this is not a Chrysler rudder head. My boat's a Chrysler. It's a 1975, and uh, I've done quite a bit of recent restoration on it. Um, this is a Nichols rudder head, which is aluminum, and I've got this leash that I hook on to here. And so what that does, there's probably other ways to do this, but what that does is give a real secure, uh, you know, uh, connection so that if your rudder, uh, if you flip the boat, um, you know, your rudder will stay at least on the boat. Um, I've also got this clip right here. They use those on lasers. And in fact, I think that is from a laser. That's what the boat I started out in. And uh, these right here were necessary, these spacers, these are low density polyethylene. I think that's about a half an inch. And what it does is step this rudder mount off so that it'll clear right here. And that's just something on the Chryslers that um, when you get the upgraded newer rudder head, which I strongly suggest, um, you have to do that to get these mounts off the back of the stern. Um, I've got a typical drain plug here. Uh, I don't have the actual tiller on there yet. So moving forward, probably the most important thing I can think of to do on these boats right off, and I was told this when I got mine, was to replace these these 3 8 inch or 3 16 the original bolts through here for your uh, your shroud stays are 3 16 and so what you want to do is is go to a quarter inch and on the inside what I did here was I actually uh, you know bonded a piece of uh, fiberglass material like a sheet in there I had a person help me with this and you know that that beefs up the wall so the reason this is important is there's a lot of force on these stays needless to say and they just you know they need to be real strong I actually saw that my uh, 3 16 bolts were, were actually bent so I believe that it's true that you do need this uh, upgrade or to a quarter inch um, I've got, you know, a, sort of a, I made this uh, vang myself. It's just some Harkin blocks that, you know, uh, it's got a triple up there and a double there. And then I've got some blocks that bring it down so that I can actually pull it on back here when I'm in the back of the boat. Also, you'll notice I have these swivel cams and I stole this boat a lot so it really helps me um, you know these are always right here they can never really get away from me I can always you know I have uh, access to you know uh, let the jib go and a lot of wind you know I'm not fumbling around or trying to go up forward I've got everything running right here the other thing I can do is run them up to here I've got these up here on the rails the other thing that came up, uh, this is typical, uh, the original Chryslers, they had the jib tracks up here on the rails. And the reason people move them in down here on the seat is so that the, bo the boat will point better because that pulls the, uh, you know, the jib uh, clue in tighter at a, you know, like a, more like a 15 degree angle or 12 rather than out here so they're fine to have them out here on the rails like like they used to come but all the newer boats the Nichols boats and all the you know they're, they're all putting them down here and of course this is adjustable you pull it back uh, and and you know when you're pointing heading to wind and then they usually go forward when you're going downwind um, I've got a riser here that I did off my uh, centerboard trunk. 
Um, I did that. That's actually was formed from a Dixie cup. I just actually fiberglass. I used it as a mold, and I put really a thick fiberglass wall on that. Um, this is very involved to do this. I wanted to get my uh, main sheet, uh, you know, cleat up higher. Um, so that's why I did that. If anybody's got any questions on that, let me know. Uh, I can go into detail on that. Um, coming around here, uh, you know, on the center board, I did pretty elaborate setup here. I've got, you know, a wheel in the front, and then you can see some blocks to turn it, and then come back to here. There's even a block here. So I got, you know, I got enough purchase on it that I can lift it pretty well. Uh, it lifts okay. This is not really necessary to do all this, but I wanted it to pull right in the center the board right in the center <clears throat> and that's what all this is about and uh, the other thing that's really important is your your mass step uh, sometimes in time this step in here will start to uh, give way it'll start to cave in down here where the where the uh, you know the uh, plate is that your your uh, your mast sets on and this piece because it's not really it's just you know jutting out here it didn't have a lot of support mine actually started to cave in there so what I did was put this U channel below and that's fiberglass and I just I just laid that up on a board and uh, then I cut it to fit and, and glass that in and what that did was support this once and for all you know, and then I've got the whole spinnaker rigging.